guys nobody calm down nobody calm down everybody freak out because this is not a drill we just got the massive news dropped that Bunzi is leaving activism no they've left activism it's over it's done Bunzi is no longer with activism they split off from them and they got full rights to destiny holy crap all right now listen me as a destiny um fan like i've had a complicated history with destiny but i've never been more excited for it than i am right now and let me explain why before now destiny has been a roller coaster that has gone up and down up and down up and down up and down for me like there's been a lot of stuff I like about and there's been a lot of stuff I really haven't liked about there's been stuff I've despised about destiny but this this is probably one of the brightest days for the game that it's had in a long time and here's the thing because like the main two things I like I liked about destiny were the Taken King DLC from the first game and then the Forsaken DLC that dropped recently. That was the last DLC to come out. Um, but yeah, overall, Destiny has been up and down. It's been all over the place with the DLCs, the um, pricing, the, the um, price walls and stuff, you know, that stuff gets locked behind and everything. You know, there's been a lot going on with it. And for a long time, I have speculated that Activision has been a big part of holding Destiny back. Because, listen, we all see what Activision does with Call of Duty and a lot of its other games. Activision, they're, 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 they're the businessmen first, you know. They, they're not really trying to give you the most for your buck. They're, they're trying to figure out how to give you the least amount. <laughs> um and make the most so with that being said for a long time a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff come out of activism a lot of stuff that was in destiny that just screamed unfair or um you know kind of immoral or just like just like ill <laughs> like like you know just just not not nice not good um you know we don't want any of that in here a lot of that stuff has been just increasing and increasing over the years and it's really been sucking the life out of the game for me because it feels like it feels like they were struggling to um really bring this game to its full potential i've said multiple times over the last over this entire gaming generation to me destiny has more potential than any other game on the market right now it's not the best game on the market right now in my opinion because of the way it's been handled but it has more potential than anything else and it can easily surpass a lot of other stuff if they just get the development cycle right now that Bungie is back on their own and they're making destiny for themselves i think they can do it i mean these are the same people that made halo um you know they're, they're pretty famous for that halo it is pretty good it wasn't it wasn't my um you know cup of tea as uh, 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 other than you know like the multiplayer and stuff but you know i don't know i just have faith that all of what we've been going through with destiny for the past couple of years has not been all on act on um bungee i mean i feel like a lot of it was activism we don't know that for sure we don't know that for sure. We, we can be pretty sore, in my opinion, but um, we don't know that for sore. And, you know, it's possible that things could still go left here. But, man, I, I think I think things are going to go right. I think we're going to, um, I think this is going to be good for um, Destiny as a whole, as a franchise. I think, I think that this is really going to turn this game around. I think we might be seeing some big changes come to it in the future. Um, you know, they're posting stuff all over Twitter right now. It looks like they're going to be sticking to their plan with the annual pass and stuff. And, you know, I, you know, I was a little iffy on the annual pass. Because, you know, I was like, Destiny has gotten me so many times in the past where it felt like I got ripped off. It felt like I didn't get enough for my money. 
You know, you know what? You know what? Just because of this, just because of this, I might be picking that bad boy up. I'm not about to lie. I, I might be jumping on this Destiny hype train for good if Bunzi handles this right. And you know, we are going to be um talking about Destiny a lot more on the channel now because I have a lot more faith in the game and the future of the, the franchise now that Activision is not involved. Alright, I, I have a lot more faith in Destiny. So with that being said, with that being said, that's all I really have to um say about this is way. So I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, there's some other stuff I want to talk about later on, but we'll wait until later to talk about that. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of videos from me this weekend coming up, guys. Some very important videos for a channel. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tune in um, this weekend to get a lot of updates. And so you can pretty much um, be in the know with what's going to be going on here with this channel and stuff. Um, but anyway, if you're an old fan, hit that like button. Hit that um hit the comment um, block I don't know what I was going for there hit the comment box and you know let me know what you guys are thinking about this are you praising are you praising the video game gods right now for this um for this uh, outstanding news like I am or are you kind of like or, or or did you somehow like activism like come on who <laughs> um, but you know yeah really excited about this really great news Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys on the next one. ZFR out, guys.